Here's how to duplicate a bootable Windows hard drive by just pushing a button. So this is about 50 bucks. This is a hard drive docking station. You can use it as a, a docking station with USB to look at a hard drive and put data on it. And you can also just push a button to copy what's on one drive onto the other drive. And it does make bootable copies. So for example, this comes out of a running Windows computer that runs like crap because this is from 2011 and it is a SATA connection, one of those. So I'm going to take what's on that by pushing a button and put it onto this SSD, make the computer faster, and it's going to boot up in Windows. So this drive and that are in the description if you want to click a link to them. In this case, I'm going one terabyte to one terabyte, so I won't have to resize it when I'm done. Basically, just put it in here, push a button, and then put that one in the computer instead of this one, and it will work. And here's a documentation on how to, to resize the hard drive if you copy from a smaller one to a bigger one. You can't copy from a big drive into a small one. It won't let you do that. So the old drive goes on the left. Inside of this trap door is a connector. Just push it in there, and then the destination drive is on the right. You don't want to get these mixed up because you'll erase your entire computer if you do that. So it always copies from left to right. And then we turn it on. So I push the clone button, which is right here, and hold it down. And then when a blue light comes on, I push, release it, and then I push it again to start the cloning process. And it's going to flash here until it's done with a quarter, and then flash here until it's done with a half, and then flash here when it's three quarters, and then flash here. And when it's all four lights are lit up blue, it has been copied. You can pay more money for one of these that copies faster. I figure I have all night to do it, so it's not a problem. I've done a few of these that are one terabyte, and it's anywhere from two and a half hours to four or five hours to copy the whole thing. So you just set it and then go away for a bunch of hours and come back and it'll be done. So it's almost done. That's the last quarter flashing. And when that light turns solid, then we're ready to take the drives out and put the new one in the computer. And the light has gone solid now, so that was started at 5.30, so four and a half hours it took to duplicate the hard drive. Again, if you want to buy a faster one, you can spend more money, but this one for 50 bucks does it just fine for me. I am patient. So then after that, once it's cloned, you just turn it off in the back. Take your new hard drive out, put it in the computer, and then you can save the old one as a backup just in case.